guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and today with me it's Ryan. Ryan is my client which I signed up for coaching and uh, basically where we are sitting just now is his first rent to rent service accommodation deal in Edinburgh and Meadows where, what he found on him by himself, okay? So we would like to share with you what he had learned through the coaching, where we are, what are the numbers, maybe he can share with us some information. So thank you very much Ryan for coming and yeah. showing you around. Yeah, no worries, thank you. And uh, so can you tell me actually, uh, why have you decided to start, you know, to be coached by me and uh, what did you want to accomplish? Yeah, well, basically, I've got a few bag to at the moment, so I need some, you know, quick cash, if you know what I mean, sort of thing. So, to obviously give up the, the day job, sort of thing. So, obviously, I know a lot of people do rent to SA, rent to rent and stuff, but in Scotland, it's not quite common. So, mm -hmm. hence, obviously, there's only a couple of people that I know that actually have rent to service accommodation, so that's basically one of the reasons why obviously okay. using yourself. So right. yeah. So and uh, why have you decided to start with the rent to rent SA and not to continue just with the buy to us? Because you have three buy to us. Yes, yeah, yeah. So basically it's quite a long process. So so you've got to raise the money, you're talking at least nine months, probably more realistically ten, the time you find the deal um uh, release the funds. So mm -hmm. that's basically you know a long time so uh, okay. to accumulate that unless you've got a lot of cash in the bank yeah. <laughs> um, it's quite okay. um, time consuming so yeah so you wanted to build the cash flow quicker yes yeah okay that's correct, so, yes, yeah. so you heard that the rent rent service accommodation is a good thing, thing, thing to do yeah i've heard it yeah but obviously um we'll see how it goes so <laughs> yes <laughs> so Thanks. yeah yes yeah, so, yeah, okay so okay so you decided to do the rent to rent service accommodation yeah and after what about the steps like where have you learned some basic information what how did you how did, actually how did you come across to me and um it was through online actually yeah it was through online um and then i was looking for a an agreement for rent to service accommodation mm -hmm. um, and then you got in touch with that sort of thing and then one thing yeah. led to another and then yeah so that was that yeah okay that was Good. I basically got contact, yes. Yeah, so, okay, yeah. so what I've done is I booked a strategy call with you. Yes. Like with yeah. everyone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just trying to find out what basically you are after, what what you need. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And if I'm the right person to help you. Yeah. And uh, you told me that you would like to become financial free as soon as possible. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so that was the main goal doing the bite of let's, but uh, like I said, it takes time. So, yeah. Um, you know, just the way the market is at the moment and stuff to you know change things up a bit sort of thing so mm -hmm. uh, give it a shot and mm -hmm. see where we go okay <laughs> so yeah yeah so and basically you had few options you could do you could definitely go on some training course yes and yeah. learn about the internet service information which yeah. obviously it, it, you would pay money for that yeah, also yeah, yeah, so yeah. why you have choose me as a coach rather than go on a training course um I like to be one on one with somebody, if you know what I mean. Um, mm -hmm. I need, I need guidance, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, especially when I'm first starting out, you know, it might take a, a two or three before I, I get used to the how it's systemized and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I like to, I've done it with buy to lets. Uh, I got mentored, so it's the same sort of thing as mm -hmm. rent to service accommodation. Just finding somebody that actually has more experience doing that strategy. Uh, yeah. We just taking all their information basically and yeah. using names sort of thing. so yeah that's, that's very clever this is yeah. what all the successful people do yes, they, yeah, yeah. they learn from people who are already over there yeah. so yeah, yeah yeah and i told you i can get you there when i am i at the moment i can't get yeah. you any further because i'm yeah, not yeah. there uh, yet yeah, yeah. but this is where i can get you and this is where you want to be so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That makes sense. so yeah okay so after uh, you sign up for the coaching yep that's good yeah it uh, <laughs> wasn't cheap <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was, yeah, not too bad. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad. I've, I've spent a lot on property training before, so yeah, so that was a lot of money. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. so so basically, the difference in the property training is like you go there once, you learn these things, but it's yeah. obviously after you are alone to do the action steps. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah, and like I said I need guidance uh, through the whole process, sort of thing. Yeah. That's just take the person I'm. I think I just need uh, my hand held, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, if you know yeah, what I mean. So, of course. Yeah. And of course, because we do, we started with coaching, it's a one to one. So, we yeah. usually do have a phone calls, or mm -hmm. because we live close to each other, so we do live sessions as well. Yep, yeah, yeah. Which is good. Uh, why do you think it's so powerful to one to one coaching? Um, one to one coaching, uh, I just like to obviously 
Are you meeting in person or? It doesn't matter if it's in person or in yeah. on the phone, but why one to one is so powerful? Um, I think it just obviously I've been contact with you quite a lot, um, so obviously you get that guidance. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if I'm struggling with a, a deal or whatever, I just message you, and then you know, within a quick period of time, you've got back in you know back in touch sort of thing, mm -hmm. and then I can either you know, uh, proceed with that deal or stuff like that or get in contact with the vendor and say, yeah, that's something you'd be interested in, stuff like that sort of thing. So it's just that extra peace of mind, <laughs> if you know what I mean, just like this deal, you know. So um, obviously you coming here uh, beforehand and saying, yeah, it's mm -hmm. it'll work sort of thing, that just gives me that peace of mind, if you know what I mean. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's, and uh, also I remember we had the live sessions in uh, Edinburgh. Yeah. And uh, once we met, <laughs> yeah. the, the, we had the assignments. I always do assignments, so yeah, yeah. you're supposed to get leads for the phone calls, mm -hmm. and we met. And yeah. you phoned few, and after you didn't phone the rest. So we met, and uh, yeah. I asked, like, why you didn't call the others? So yeah. you had the knowledge, you know yeah. what to say, you had the know-how, you had the, you know, yeah. but why why you didn't call? Um, I think it was more, obviously you were getting rejected quite a lot, and... I had to mix up my script a couple of times before it felt more naturally to me. Mm -hmm. um, because it is, the way I see it is, is you're trying to basically sell yourself as well, along with a product, you know, saying that, you know, I can take over that, uh, your property, etc. cetera, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, you know, you're trying to, you know, well, I suppose you're trying to persuade uh, the landlord why he would rather choose you then you know maybe give it to a tenant or a student that's maybe mm -hmm. only going to be there for you know six to eight months or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so you know it's mm -hmm. you know that yeah. sort of thing. So yeah, but so let's say just trying to you know get your script right. And once you've got your script right, it feels natural to you. It, it becomes you know easy. So um, so it's all easier. <laughs> and would you say that you know it's uh, just person shouldn't be that afraid of the rejection, so it's just natural, so you can just move ahead, you know? Um, yeah, it doesn't matter what you do, it's like when you put offers in the, you know, buy to let, I mean, you're always going to get rejected. Yeah. Um, but like it says, put an offer into a state agent is totally different from actually, you know, meeting up with the, the landlord himself direct sort of thing, so, you know, there's, it's totally different, but, mm -hmm. um, yeah, like it says, I think most people are going to be afraid you know phoning landlords for the first time or whatever mm -hmm. uh, just like me but once you get more confidence and um, you know once you've got a few deals sort of thing uh, the confidence comes and then it just becomes you know just just another phone call sort of thing so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. good perfect yeah. so uh so about the deal where we are just now so yeah. could you maybe share what are the numbers how did you how did yeah. you found it? Like what website have you used or what were the steps? Yes, yeah, so obviously I used your um, spreadsheet sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Used that to begin with. Uh, so I found this deal on Open Rent. Um, it was getting reverbed at the time. Uh, so he was wanting £900 per month mm -hmm. uh, for this property. So I came and visited it. Um, it was basically the year it was getting reverbed, so it wasn't in a good condition. I said to him, you know, I'd like to see it in a couple of weeks' time once it's finished. So, came back, done the numbers for yourself. We were looking at about 800 for it to work for, you know, for me. Mm -hmm. um, so, came back and said, you know, for it to work with us, it would be 800. Um, but obviously, the the landlord was wanting, you know, 900 because it had offers and stuff like that. But, um, so after that, a couple of weeks, he, he messaged me saying, basically, obviously, I've got time wasters. Um, if you can meet me halfway, um, 8.50, then we can do a deal sort of thing. So mm -hmm. obviously that's when I got in touch with you, um, we went over the numbers again, and then obviously both of us came here uh, to the property to see what your thoughts so are, if it's mm -hmm. going to work. Um, so obviously it is in the meadows, so it is a, a good area. Um, so, you know, we just went over things and then, you know, basically just signed the contract from there sort of thing. So yeah, um, so, yeah. yeah. so it's a one bed flat, so... Um, you know, for eight fifty, so mm -hmm. not not too bad. So okay, um, and you spend around four thousand pounds for the furnishing the plot. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Plus, also you spend money for staging because you didn't have time to do it yourself. Yeah, you have a job. Yes, yeah, yeah. So you paid 
us because I have a management staging company also. Yes, so just wait. Yeah, I just yeah. want to mention that so people need to realize that if the property is unfurnished, yeah. they not only need to pay the furniture, but somebody needs to physically do it. Yeah. Travel yeah. from shop to shop, assemble all of it, take the photos. So this is another thing just to take in consideration for people. Yeah, definitely. Let's say I'm a four on four on, uh, sorry, four on four off shift, but even for four days, you know, uh, because it is in the meadows, you know, it's quite hard to get parking. Yeah. I don't have a van, um, so it, it would take a, a good few trips, you know, uh, time to get a sofa bed and stuff mm -hmm. like that sort of thing. So, mm -hmm. like I say, it all takes time, but uh, you've got to weigh up the, you know, how long extra would it take for me to do it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, and do you want the hassle? Yeah. <laughs> sort of thing. So, <laughs> it's one of them. So, it depends on what sort of investor you are as well. Um, you know, I, I let my properties out to let agents sort of thing, so I'm quite hands off that way. I don't want to deal with, you know, that. Obviously, that's what I'm also doing with yourself as well, sort of thing. So okay. uh, everybody's different. Everybody likes to be hands on, but I'm just looking to learn, you know, mm -hmm. what you are doing, and you know, just gradually learn from that sort of thing. So, so how much money do you think monthly is going to make this property like, and you'd be happy with? Um, well, you've told me your numbers, what you think, but um, you know, we are coming up to. You know, a busy time of the season, so obviously that it will be a lot more than certain times mm -hmm. of the month, sort of thing. But um, you know, you've told me your your figure of what you would think, but obviously you've got management fees and stuff like mm -hmm. that, sort of thing. So it would um, make you five hundred pounds a month. It would be good. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, well, that's so you just over a, just over a week's wages for me. So yeah, yeah. So and you invested, you know, four plus staging plus some uh, for for rent and deposits so around. Yeah. Maybe six thousand. Yeah. So it yeah. will be five hundred pounds a month. So we have six thousand in a year. So it will yeah. be hundred percent return on investment. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. the second year is just profiting. Yeah. Well, that, that's the whole plan. Yeah. The first year, to obviously accumulate some rent to rent essays, and you know, after the year sort of thing, um, hopefully, you know, basically get up the job sort of thing. Um, yeah. Sure. Because obviously you've got to pay back the yeah. pay back the you know the first year's money yeah. sort of thing. Because obviously I've raised that for. Mm -hmm. Uh, from investors sort of thing so oh, very good so you have to obviously accumulate that back and then obviously the next two years of profit so mm -hmm. um, and uh, when we started in January you had a plan that you wanted to get your first rent rent center commission by 10 of April yeah that was yep. your plan you sent yep. me the picture yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, <straight laughs> and after, you, yeah yeah and you have it from uh, 15 of March it's yep. it's now live yeah so yeah. it's a uh, one month earlier so you managed to get one in the first two months yeah yeah, uh, yeah okay so, so what are your other plans yeah, well, we've, like you know, said, oh, we've, uh, we're close to signing another one, but um, obviously there's some paperwork to sort out and stuff like that, so mm -hmm. uh, that property is not far from the castle, so, um, you know, higher rent, very high, uh, I'd like to also have it for a bit less, but it will be, I could see it being loud basically all year round, mm -hmm. uh, going by, you know, research and stuff mm -hmm. like that, so, um, it's sort of worth that, that money to me anyway, so you know, um, that's okay. that's the plan for you know, hopefully, we'll be able to get the keys next week at some point okay. uh, if it comes to agreement. And you know, that's that's just my plans for it at the moment anyway, mm -hmm. um, for the next few weeks. But obviously, in the weeks to come, is to obviously try and get a few more. Um, but same again, have to raise some money and stuff like that, sort of thing. So, mm -hmm. um, you just sort out finances and stuff like that, sort of thing. So, plan ahead, so yeah. Okay, so uh, we'll just look around with you to yeah. make sure us around. Yeah. And before we do that, can you maybe just give you know people who are just thinking or hesitating what to do if to go I don't know through the coaching or training or like what steps do they do when they are just really yeah. in the beginning and they are struggling to take the steps? Yeah. Um. Well, basically, I have done training before, uh, buy to let stuff like that, uh, social housing. So I so know getting training. Um, you know, as a, a key part uh, for what's your learning. Um, so, I mean, I've wanted to do rent to service accommodation for a long time. Uh, I, well, I've never actually told you that, but uh, what it says in Scotland, it's totally different from England. You know, you hear so many people, you know, doing rent to service accommodation, rent to rent, lease options. But um, in Scotland, you know, obviously it's just a totally different ball game. Um, it's a lot of agents, you know, don't know what it is. Um, you know, they call it sublet and stuff like that sort of thing. So there's a lot of, 
you know, before you even start and you're thinking all that in your, your head, if you know what I mean. So yeah. if you don't know somebody like yourself eh, that has a few <laughs> rent to rent self accommodations, you know, you're sort of on the back foot already just with your, with your mindset. Mm -hmm. eh, that was like me. So, mm -hmm. um, but, you know, just reach out to people that, you know, have a few rent to self accommodations. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can learn yourself, learn the hard way, it might take a bit longer, yeah. but, eh, you know, the way I see it is, um, and anything that I'm, I'm learning about, it be properly cryptocurrency, I've always paid money for it, yeah. um, because I just I just see it as an investment, you know, yeah. sort of thing. So eventually I will get the you know, for money back, sort of thing. Yeah. So um, I would just say, yeah, like, you know, paying for training, a lot of people, you know, are, are against it, but, you know, <laughs> everybody's different. Yeah. You know, I know people that haven't done training, um, and also know a lot of people that have done training, mostly people that have done training, and they they do you know really well, whether mm -hmm. it be bike or let, um, etc. So yeah. um, you know it speaks for itself, really. Right. So Good. yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Brian. No worries. So I'll just grab the camera, and if you can yeah. show us around, maybe how it's yeah. looking like here. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Just, uh, yeah, so first of all, we'll start in the, the kitchen. So this is obviously newly done. Uh, new fridge, new units. Um, obviously, you've put your cutlery, stuff like that in there. So it's basically all ready to go. So you put your washing machine there as well. And then here, let's see, you've got the living room. So you've got your sofa bed here, which is nice. Uh, new TV, basically everything's new. Um, you know, some decoration here. Um, so yeah, it's it's quite nice. Also, table here, dining table. You can use that for also dinner or you know um, business work, etc. Sort of thing. So then we'll go into the, the hallway. So this is just the, the toilet in here. So that's newly been done. Quite nice tiles and into the shower room here, which has newly been done as well. Some storage in there. Mm -hmm. And this is I'm going to get some locks on it. So this is for the, the cleaners. So you've got iron board uh, mm -hmm. stuff like that. And uh, this one's just all your linen, toilet roll, all the boring stuff. So <laughs> mm -hmm. and so here we've got like a, a desk here, so uh, a good, good space here. Uh, mirror, a uh, clothes rack, because we're a bit tight for space. And then here you've got your, your double bed, which is nice. nicely done. And obviously your storage, so uh, Perfect. This, is, this is a one bed flat, and um, this is in the meadows. So. Cool. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ryan, for your time today, and uh, hopefully you'll, you know, more people will take the action <laughs> like you did. Yeah, no, thank you. Cheers.